Hello, everybody! What's up? My name is Amanda Ruth Wilson. I'm an intuitive being, a spiritual being, a person who loves to be dramatic. I'm quite eclectic, and this is me. <laughs> so, enough with the realizations already. I had to tell myself that again for the umpteenth time today. I wanted to share this particular message with you because it is probably the biggest thing that has been sitting in front of my face for more than a year plus now, at least two years, uh, maybe three years. <laughs> I have um, had three different mentors recently over the last little bit. Um, and these are paid mentors that I asked for help because I didn't know how to run a business. I didn't know what I was doing. I was feeling lost and struggling in my network marketing business I was doing at the time. Um, for those of you who know, I'm no longer doing it works. And I just was feeling lost, completely trapped by my anxiety and a lot of different things. But I finally had this realization today. And please say hello in the comments. Let me know you're here. I would love to hear from you if you relate to what I'm about to tell you, okay? Or give me some of those loves, fire emojis. I'm just kidding. Put a fire emoji down if you're ready to hear it because I'm going to blow your mind. I'm just kidding. I could, but I don't know if I will. So what I wanted to tell you, <laughs> all three of my mentors have literally told me the same thing in one fashion or another. Amanda, you like having options. You are comfortable with having options. You are comfortable not making a decision. Now, they did not say it in these words necessarily, but that I am an individual who is an all or nothing person. And that if I am not all in, <laughs> then it's going to be just a simple little wish just right here on my vision board where it will sit because I'm like, oh, vision boards are great. It's just going to sit there on my wall. I'm going to get really into it and stare at it for five days in a row for three minutes a day at a time. And well, it's not working. So, I mean, it's just there and mm, I don't know. And then I just half-ass it. And I'm not going to filter myself. That's just the word that I'm using for myself because that is exactly what I have done with my life over the last three plus years. Trying to build something of my own. Trying to do something for myself. But it does no one any good when you sit there with your options. So my realization I had 2019 has been the year of self-awareness and realization for myself. I don't know if it has been for you. Tell me if it has been for you. Say something in the comments. Hello. Hello, Angelica. How are you? Um, but it's something that I'm like, I just can't handle this anymore. How many times am I going to realize the same thing again and again and again? What's up, Talia? What's up, Betsy? And I finally was just like... <laughs> It's because I never truly made a decision. One of the first things to get out of being stuck in this analysis paralysis, if you're tired of sitting where you're at, this, in my opinion, is something you need to do first. You do have to decide on what it is you want. If you're not happy with your situation, what is it? So, for example, I will use money, okay? Money. I am sick of my money situation and not having, I'm having more months than I am money. So for me, I decided, oh, I'm going to join a network marketing company because that sounded amazing. I want to earn those bonuses. I want to work for my phone full time. I want, I want, I want. And that's what came out of my mouth all the time. Dream bigger. Do all these things. Dream bigger. Yes, it's important to have a vision, but it's also important to know your consistency, to know how you manage your time, to know what you truly are committed to doing, to know that you are in alignment with who you are and your core values, especially with today and how many people market a business on social media with all of the things that they do. Well, if you're looking for money, yeah, that's one way you can go, but it's not the only way. Now, I'm not here to talk about business opportunities or anything like that, 
of course I can hook you up with one if you're looking for one so we can talk. That being said, if you're sick of your money situation, there is an option. But there's lots of options. Now you get to decide which one you want. But if you never decide because you have all of these options in front of you, then those are just options and what you want is actually just a wish and it's not something you truly desire. Now, there are going to be some people who listen to this and they're like, Amanda, I have tried this again and again. You're telling me the same stupid stuff that everybody else posts about, that all my other friends who are in a network marketing say, that I should be buying their coffee instead of going to Starbucks and getting my $7 pumpkin spice latte. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's your choice. That's your choice to put blinders on how you choose to see something. Because how you see it versus how somebody else sees it, especially if you're talking to someone who is an entrepreneur or a budding entrepreneur, that's probably going to be the case. <laughs> now, going back to this self-realization, analysis paralysis. How many times are you going to hit that wall where enough is enough? When you're finally done banging your head against the wall. I have all these opportunities. Why is nothing working out? There's nothing wrong with being interested in multiple things. But are you dedicating your time to one thing? Or are you just kind of playing around with a bunch of different things? I don't know. <laughs> well, you want to know my answer? <laughs> Well, I was just playing around with a bunch of different things. Oh, this would be great. And then my brain would just spiral off into this huge web of ideas and dreams and visions and hopes and everything that I could think of that I'm like, I could see myself at the top of the company. I could see myself living completely debt free. I can see myself doing all of these incredible things. I can see myself doing those things. But I didn't actually commit myself to those things. I am a loyal and dedicated person. And when you ask me to show up for you, I will 100% show up for you to the best of my ability. If I'm doing something that we are collaborating on or partnering on, hello, Stephanie, I love you. Um, I will show up. You know, when it comes to things that I am very passionate about, you better believe I will show up 100%. But you'll know if I'm not fully committed. Because I am an all-or-nothing person. So, I'm going to tell you a little story. <laughs> um, I am actually in the process of building my own business. Not a network marketing thing. Although I am in a network marketing company. So if you don't like that, that's fine. Your choice. <laughs> But in the process of building, I have gone through this analysis paralysis, imposter syndrome, all of these things, because being an all or nothing person who also lets anxiety tell her what to do, I would then justify what I have not done yet and procrastinate and push it off till later and be like, oh, it's fine, I can just do that later. Oh, it's fine, I can just do that later. And if I had a deadline coming up, I would quickly do it towards the end. Eh, that was fine, it worked out pretty great. But I wasn't sticking to the plan. I wasn't staying dedicated. I wasn't going all in like I told myself I would. Same thing goes for, you know, your health and wellness, nutrition, mental, physical health. But sometimes, you just live to survive, right? Put a one in the comments if you agree. And if you're watching this on the replay, put a hashtag replay so I know that you're watching. I'd love to hear and talk to you um, about what I'm talking about because I think it's important. <laughs> but the fact of the matter is, because I hadn't fully decided, sat there with my options, just options. What do you do with just options? You decide. You pick one. Start small. Start accomplishing the little things here and there. Start doing the win. Stop being so hard on yourself. I keep telling myself. And I'm like, I can't do this. I can't do this. So then I go back to my old habits. That's how uh, I totally got caught up on how to get away with murder last week. Ask me about it. I know. Same thing with Walking Dead. Okay? <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm being real, 
And if being real isn't how I'm going to like better myself because, whoa, that was interesting. All of the lights flickered for a second. But if I can't be real and honest with myself and break it down and recognize that I really do need to make a decision to make something change, then I'm always going to be where I have always been. And that is in the same place, the same place I was this time a year ago. But I can confidently tell you I am not in the same place this time I was a year ago. A year ago, I was completely trapped by my anxiety mentally. And I started working with one of my mentors who helped me free myself up from that. Helped me see that there is a way out of it. And I've talked to a couple of people, some of you might be even watching, and some people don't think it works. But have you tried? Have you actually tried? Or are you just thinking, eh, well, I kind of did something. Did you actually commit? Did you give it an amount of time? People say you have to try things for, I mean, I don't even remember how to say this right, but it takes about four months to get used to a new job, right? Out of four months of running your own business, sometimes you might not always see the results you're looking for. It depends on the business, right? But at least you've made a decision and you're running a business instead of thinking about it and planning for it and planning for it and making sure that everything is perfect because you keep comparing to the other people who are out there. Yeah, queen of comparison and all of that stuff. But I finally was like, no more. <laughs> I'm going to prove all my mentors that I am not a person who is stuck with all of their choices and comfortable with their choices, not actually deciding on anything, not actually committing on anything. And it actually terrified me that I'm like, I'm going to get on here on a Facebook Live and say, guess what? I'm going to stop half-assing at my life now <sighs> because I'm sick of where I'm at. I'm coming up at the end of my contract of my job. And I have been told, oh, you're so impressive, but you're not the ideal fit. And I'm starting to find I am not meant for certain paths in life. And the omens that are coming back into my face are telling me, go this direction. You need to go this direction. And if the signs weren't already clear enough, then I mean, I won't be able to help anybody else if I don't start listening and following them. So I finally had this realization and I'm like, enough realizing about your realizations. So, you know what I'm going to do next? Well, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> Just wait and see. Something good is coming down the pipeline. And there may or may not be a podcast as well. <laughs> Something that I've been thinking about for a while. But just wait. Something's coming. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. Uh, just listen to that West Side Story song and you'll be good. But anyways, if you need some more motivation, just go back to the beginning. Stop making excuses. Stop being comfortable with your choices. Stop being okay with just mediocrity. And if you're okay with it, that that's totally fine. But I'm not gonna have any part of it. Because I know what I want now. I have decided on what I want now, and I do know what I need to go do. And so the time for talking and analyzing and realizing is over. That can come later when we reach the next level. And I'm not saying whole nother level or anything like that, but when it's time to take the next step, time to rise again. Every time you rise again, it can be like a brand new phoenix being born from the ashes. So, and why not me? Why can I not do exactly what I want, be passionate, and do all the things that I want in life? You can create exactly what you want. And if you can't, start asking yourself, are you in the right position to be able to create that? Are all of the elements in your life right now in place for you to be able to create that magical moment when you can say, I did this, I 
built this. I built this from the ground up. It's mine. And I did this. Are you ready? Let's go. Bring it on, universe. And yes, bring it on, universe. Because I'm finally ready.